Hello and welcome to my uh, introduction to Word of Geek Player Publisher. Uh, if you uh, wanted to create a film for the Oculus Rift and wanted a way in which you could send it out to people where it wasn't just a video file but it was a whole menu system and it was all set up exactly the way they wanted it then this is one way in which you can do it. I've spent about a year on this project, uh, maybe a year and a half because I've been building the player and now I've created this editor to hopefully make it a lot easier to do so. So um, uh, this is a quick introduction so I've installed it already I'm going to double click on uh, the actual publisher. This will bring up a new window. Like so, the first time you actually make a, make a project, you've, uh, you've got to choose your project location. So quickly go to one called Test Project, choose folder, creates the files, puts them in there. And you can add as many as you like and switch between them. And also delete them, which won't delete the files, but it will delete the actual link within here. So if I go to menu, this is the menu system now. When you create your first project, you'll actually create it with a couple of examples in there. Um, the Fisher example and the NASA Sun in 3D example, which are the two examples you get with Whirligig when you download the player. Now, what you can do is each one has its own setup. So it has its own uh, selection of options and different setups. So you can see the NASA is a cinema curved side by side, whereas this is the dome side by side. And you can change these um, however you like. I'm going to go for the NASA one. Um, I'm going to remove everything. I'm actually going to delete the fisheye one. So I've just got the NASA one. I remove all the options and just leave play and quit which you can see there's the two options there you can replace these files with your own uh, files if you want to which is pngs which i'll show an example later uh, you've got your that there as well which uh, which is your timeline if you want to replace that um, so now you've got options and each video has got a whole selection of options which can be disabled or enabled if you want to so for instance, you could have a video that loops constantly and when you load, when you run it, as soon as you start playing it, it will loop continuously. Um, there's also an option to have it play on load, so it starts playing straight away. Uh, and there's quite a few different options that are available. Um, you can also disable the keys. So give an example, uh, if you wanted to have a video with a menu system that looped continue, uh, continuously, but you didn't want people to be able to un uh, untick uh, the loop with the uh, L on the uh, keyboard, uh, you can disable that option and that will stop that from being uh, being used. So I'm going to disable all the options. Go to Hotspots. Hotspots is a uh, much uh, complicated system which is not relevant for this project but you can create areas in which when people look at them, this is a barrel view, if somebody looks at that area um, then you can have an image uh, come into view and then you can have that when they uh, click on that it will actually go to another uh, piece of media. Now in this case I'm not going to show demonstrate this because it's not relevant for this uh, this project so I'm going to leave that at zero. And Publish is where you get to publish your actual film. So in this case I'm going to call it a test uh, project. Uh, it's going to leave it as my name. This is a, an example of just of a project that you could use but so I have it as set to one, set the start media to the NASA one. Uh, you can change the icons, the installation banner, the installation side banner, and you'll see that when I actually demonstrate installing it in a second. Uh, I'm going to change the output of the folder to D drive. You can also edit a readme file, which comes with the actual film. So this is my first film. I'm save that. At this point you can either test your film, because it's, it's all there on the hard drive just set up. Um, so if I run test, it will then load the 64-bit uh, director rift version for, for your film. Wait for that to pop up. I'll just show you half of the actual video. But as you can see, you've got the menu there, the health and safety warning. Uh, and there you go, you've got the standard menu and you've just got the two options that are available, quit and play. Now this is just a, a still, so playing doesn't do anything, so we just go to quit. And that's fine. So now I can hit publish. Uh, I'm using uh, for the publisher. I'm using a open source publisher called uh, NSIS. Uh, it's a great way in which to publish your work. It's um, and with the installation of Whirly Gig Publisher, it actually comes with it. Uh, you can go and download latest versions from their website. Uh, a lot of uh, big 
big programs use this to actually package their uh, package their own uh, uh, products. Like, for instance, WinApp uses it, and it was a good option for this because it has lots of command line stuff, and I can set it all up so people don't have to worry about it. And of course, I can stick it in there because it's a it's a free a free program. So just wait for that to compress. So now that's compressed and that's saved that to D drive. If I close that and go to D drive, as you can see there, there's a test project. And if I run that, now this test project contains everything, including the lab codex. And uh, if you install the lab codex, if you had an MP4 and installed the lab codex with it, it would register the lab uh, D, uh, codec a selection suite and that would uh, allow you to play back mp4s and wouldn't have uh, mean that people wouldn't have to download codec packs I put it in there I'm going to untick it this time just because we don't really need it for this so I install that and this is inst installs all of the uh, program files to the program folder creates a program folder location as well so we can either run it or open open on the readme if I click open as you can see there's the readme file that I edited earlier so I close that down and also it's created a project group and in here you've got a uh, test project you've got the actual uh, director rift and the test project and you can uninstall it and view the readme file uh, and it's created on the desktop a test project director rift so i run that now there we are health and safety warning and then your meter uh, and then you could send this off to anybody you liked and you know that they'd have the menu system that you wanted and all the setup for the individual elements set up as the way you wanted and as you can see there's nothing else you can do I've disabled all the keys so you've just got play and quit and if that was a film you could just set it as a, as a, a simple play button a simple quit button changing the menu system so and um, that's uh, that's the actual process and uh, hopefully you'll find it useful I'm going to upload several videos that demonstrate all the different elements of the uh, editor uh, including going through each of the menu options and I'm going to use a test product called Vortex a friend of mine created a film called Vortex and he's created custom menus custom icons and I'm going to use that as an example and uh, which you'll be able to see the construction from beginning to end of that I hope you use the product and enjoy the product and if you have any bugs or any issues or want any updates let me know I'm creating this for people to be able to publish their stuff uh, and I want to know what is uh, what it is that people want more if it's not if it's not available uh, thank you very much and I uh, look forward to hearing from your comments the player the editor and more information is downloadable from my website www.whirlygig.xyz thank you